I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. It's either a cunning plan, or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard, though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Mush, Daisy! Mush! Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. I'll, uh, I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't lose sight of me! longer will this journey take? Must be nearly a week now. It's been less than two days, and I'm beginning to regret bringing you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst enemy. How could you possibly have any regrets? And people say you have no sense of humor. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a bond between us. We're on a mission. This is neither the time nor place to make peace with Liko. I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I left an innocent man behind to die during my escape from Friar's Keep. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I only caused him more pain. When I visited his widow, she only had hate for me. She couldn't understand my reasons for doing what I did. I watched Balse Bakim bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so. But many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? What did I gain from these actions? What did it change? What would have been different? had I acted differently. All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed but I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko, 
and- I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? I couldn't tell. And people say you have no sense of humor. They do? We've been through much since then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and your immortal soul. Because you believe they're misguided. It cannot be easy being hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant shit. But I respect you, Kian. And I trust you. Going to sleep. Stay on your side, Alvani. Or you may wake tomorrow with a missing limb. I mean, that hurt. Never trust an Elguan, cowardly cows. Oh, something must have spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! Go, or I'll call the others! Whoa, hey there, I'm, I'm friendly and, and unarmed. You're human. You can't be fr... Bird? Crowbird? Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben... Franklin. Ben Bandu. This isn't the same human who accompanied you last time. This is my new human. She's mostly harmless. Say hello, Zoe. Don't be rude. I guess... hello? I have no idea who or what this creature is. For all I know, it's associated with the Yaga. We don't have time to chat with the locals. We're on a mission. I get. Hello. Hello. Are you the new Bandu and Bata? Bamboo... what? No, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. So they keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround us. The Yaga. That's it! That's the one we're looking for, right, Zoe? The Yaga! You're... you're looking for the Yaga? Are, on purpose? Are you mad? Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. You know the Yaga. She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's... She's mean. Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yaga. Who is she? The... Yaga? She's old. Really old. She's been around since long before my people came to this forest. Once, she had many servants. Witches, warlocks, evil ones. Like in the stories told by the elders. But her servants are all gone now. So she woke up and crossed into our world. She doesn't belong here, but she's lonely and hungry. Hungry. Great. Well, we still have to find her. She has the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone? I've heard of the Soul Stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Warlock? 
Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now. Just like my people. April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all. But then... Then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left here now. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. One day, they'll come back. All the surviving Banda. Until then, I watch over their burrows. And I sing. For them. For all of us. This... Soul Stone. It's important? Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair, anyway. Great! I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like that? I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. The Yaga's beyond the ridge. Once you cross that, you're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin, and she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Ben Ben. Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it for dinner? This is what we came here for. If we don't get the Soul Stone... Everyone dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the Feather Gods of old. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through from the beyond. Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then... We'll be back. And I had such a craving for Crispy Squirrel. Naked, twisting branches blocking what little light there is. Check. If this was the entrance to a haunted house, I'd say they'd gone overboard. They've got that whole normal things that should look quaint and safe except they look horrifically scary thing down to a fine art. I'm not saying I won't cross it, but I do expect the bridge to do something terrible to me. That's a not at all reassuring shade of black. And what are those swirling things? Giant tadpoles? I don't want to know. Even the plants down there look like... like dead hands wiggling their cold, dead fingers. Welcome to nature. Prepare to be terrified. This is all very grim. I'm expecting an evil queen and a sleeping beauty at any time. Thorny bushes are never a good sign, really. There's just no place for that in a happy story. Naked, twisting branches blocking what little light there is. Check. Mother of Ravens! I don't feel very welcome. I mean, this isn't just a bad sign. It's all the bad signs, all at once, like a grab bag of ill omens. There are plenty of stones lying about. Let's just pick one and pretend it's the soul stone. It's not like anyone would know what it's supposed to look like.
They've got that whole normal things that should look quaint and safe, except they look horrifically scared. That's a not at all reassuring shade of black. And what are those swirling things? Giant tadpoles? I don't want to know. This looks like one of those pivotal moments where the audience is yelling at the heroine, don't go through the gate, are you crazy? Once I'm past that gate, there's probably no way back. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Ah! Oh, my tiny bird heart. I have a bad feeling about this, Zoe. That's so not reassuring. And I used to like cats. Nice kitties. Nice, red-eyed, terrifying kitties. That's so not reassuring. And I used to like cats. Dark, Don't scary cave. No way to get around it. She's here. Fairy tale conventions never fail She's to make dangerous. my life miserable. Dark, scary cave. No way to get around it. I know this. Fairy tale conventions Dogs never fail to make my life and rotting miserable. flesh. Smells like witches, all right. Is it my imagination, or is the light changing? Is it getting darker? Am I going blind? Help! Do you hear voices? I hear voices. I don't like disembodied voices. Disembodied voices are never a good sign. I think this is a warning sign. This stuff basically spells turn around, go away, death and darkness ahead. But who heats that kind of stuff? Is that where the Yaga lives? It looks like a house. I mean, a scary house, sure, but still just a house. Is that where the Yaga lives? It, they're, they're speaking. It's freaky. What's worse than a twisting path into darkness through thorny bushes and sharp naked branches? A swamp. Of course there's a swamp. The only thing stopping me from running in the opposite direction right now is knowing I'll have to pass through that cave again. I'm pretty sure the sky didn't look like that before I passed through the cave. It reminds me of... of story time. What is this place? Are they connected? I'm pretty sure the sky didn't look like that before I passed through the cave. Are those... I feel strange. I felt this way before when I was... when I was in a coma. Inside story time. I must be on the border between waking and dreams. Poor things. They're... They're speaking. It's freaky. Are those the souls of lost children? If so, this place is even more horrifying than I'd imagined. Wicked witch is gone, but she is here now. She'll eat you up, like she ate all of us. She tricked us, she trapped us, she cooked us, she ate us. We're the children that never left. It's too late to save us. Save yourself! Go! No! Turn around! 
Don't do it! Don't wake her! She's sleeping! Leave her be! You'll be trapped here with us forever and ever and ever! Weeds and vines, covering everything. This almost feels intentional, like someone's trying to cover something up. I'm glad I have Crow here. Regardless of how useless he may be at times, he's still company. So what now? I'll take company Do we just go no up and knock on the door? Time. I don't see a doorbell. <laughs> no, this is neither the time nor place for levity. Oh, I know. I don't actually see a door. I seem to remember a door. You know this place. It's changed, but yes, this is where the Gribbler lived. She smelled awful, and she was so rude. Also, she wanted to eat April. You should have led with that one. Yeah, but she did smell awful, especially when she burned. Hooey. Ugh. Is that where the Yaga lives? It looks like a house. I mean, a scary house, sure, but still just a house. Who bothers me? Who bothers the Yaga? Okay, so maybe not just a house after all. You have something that's not yours. Leave, monkey. Not until you give me the Soul Stone. We do not know what you speak of. Whoa. My whole body's tingling. I can change things. I can manipulate this dream. Cool. Please, I need to speak with the Yaga. There are three minds in there. But which one's the Yaga? I can hear several voices. All of them, angry. It's so loud, so strong, I can't, I can't keep listening, she's too strong. to fight you. I just want to talk to you.
right at me. She's trying to kill me. Stop trying to kill me! I'm pretty sure this guy didn't look <laughs> Oh, this sucks. Wait, the sky? Is this story time? But it's not like how I remember it. It looks... older. It looks a lot... older. you a clever monkey. Hush, sister. Don't speak to it. Just let it lose itself in the dark. It'll weaken, and then we can eat it. It'll probably taste honey sweet, like a newborn babe. Do not underestimate this one, sisters. There's something different about it. Hello? Maybe not so clever after all. We're hungry. We need to eat. Not long now. You must be tired, monkey. Your eyes grow heavy. Sleep. We'll watch over you. Show yourselves. Is it not asleep yet? Lie down and shut your eyes, monkey. Let us feed. That's not going to happen. It answers back. Like a thing with a mind of its own. A very clever monkey. This one has spirit and something else. Something powerful. A witch of the now, North. now, there's no need for insults. We are... The Yaga. No monkey has ever been here before. We're curious about you. We? The sisters. Bayeb Ayaga. Bayeb Aya... Baba Yaga. Older than time. Older than memory. Old as darkness. Always three. Not always, sister. In the beginning, the Yaga was one, and then everything unraveled. Light came, worlds were born, monkeys bred and became legion. And the one became three. You are from across the divide. From a world ruled by machines. That's right. But not really here at all. Dreaming. Apparently so. We thought there was only one dreamer. 
You were mistaken. Something made you? That's interesting. We didn't see this coming. We do so love surprises. What do you want from us, monkey? The Soul Stone. You stole it. Luke stole it first. Only fair that we stole it back. What do you want with it? To bring it back where it belongs. To cure Lux. Lux is the... Lux is the first dreamer. We know. Oh, we know. You cannot teach us things, monkey. We were there in the darkness, in the time before time, before all this terrible brightness, before you monkeys spoiled it. We had the Soul Stone then. It fed us and made us strong, but Lux took it so that Lux could dream. We were there when Lux dreamed the first dream and the stars were born and everything came apart. If we give you the stone, we fade from memory. We will be forgotten. It's all that anchors us when there's no one left to worship and fear us. But they do worship you, don't they? In the city, they've built effigies to the Wicker Witch. The Wicker Witch! A bedtime story, a spineless fairy tale for nestlings. No one truly fears the Yaga anymore. Our power is diminished. I don't know. People need darkness. They need to be frightened. In my world, scary is popular. There are films, games, haunted houses. Playthings. We are less than we were. We remember feeding, our stomachs bloated with flesh and fear. Well, things change. That's how it goes. Maybe, instead of giving you the soul stone, we eat you up. All your delicious memories. All your dreaming powers. Your soul will keep us warm and sated. How's that gonna help anyone? Help? What makes you think we'll help? We owe the universe nothing, monkey. We owe looks nothing. Why should we care if the dream ends? Perhaps, if you give us a little morsel, a taste of you, what can you offer us? Offer? A sin. A secret. Something dark. Something you keep deep inside and fear to reveal. I... I flirted with Roman and I've never shared that with anyone. I knew Reza wouldn't like the sausages I brought him for lunch that time. I did that because... because I was tired of our routine, of how our relationship had stagnated. Is there really nothing I can give her? What will they do to me if I refuse? That man in my apartment, he was trying to protect me, but I got him killed. It, there's nothing. You are without sin, without flaw. There are no choices that you regret. The lucky monkey appears to be as pure as the first rays of light that fell upon the dreaming. Since you offer us nothing, we offer you nothing in return. But why? You're not only punishing everyone out there, but you're also hurting yourselves. Who will worship and fear you when they're all gone? So what else can you offer us, monkey? What can you give of yourself to prove that this matters? I don't know. You demand that we give up the thing that feeds us and keeps us warm. And you cannot make a similar sacrifice. You're right. I can't. I don't have what you're asking for. I'm human. I've made terrible decisions, but I don't linger on those decisions. I move forward and live with the consequences. Shame, anger, disappointment, regret. That's not what feeds me. I survive because I let go every day. Because I have hope and faith in the future. Not because I look back. That goes for most people. And all I want is to give those people a chance to make their choices, good or bad, and carry on living and learning. If that's not enough for you, then I have nothing. And if I don't, 
If I fail to bring the Soul Stone to the first dreamer, Lux dies. The dream ends. There will be no one around to remember any of us, or the choices we've made that brought us here. It all hinges on this moment in time. We know this, little monkey. This is why we are giving you the Soul Stone. But you must do one thing for us in return. Anything, as long as it's mine to give. You must remember us when the dream is in you. The world needs us. Without the sisters, without the Yaga, there is no fear, no imagination. Every dream needs a nightmare. I don't think I could forget, even if I tried. Yes, I'll remember you. Good. 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 Here is the Soul Stone. Take it, use it to wake Lux. We would have done it ourselves, but the Dreamer Monkey is the only one with that power. How do I get there? Someone's coming, little furry thing. They will gift you a beast to ride. Go to Lux. You will feel Lux like a lantern in the dark. Follow the light. Save the dream, Dreamer. Become one with the first. What does that mean? You'll find out. And a clever monkey, beware the wizard of lies. He schemes, he plots, he wishes to remake the world. He wears a mask, he harbors ambitions. He always did, but now there's something in him. It's a dangerous thing, little monkey. Watch out. Now, leave. Where did you disappear to? I have a thing about huge monster houses. I don't like them. Oh, you're the worst sidekick. That's what they keep telling me. I honestly don't know why. Let's go back and find the furry little halfling thing again. I bet you he didn't wait for us. I bet you he's long gone. She's letting us go. What did you do? We're free. Time to go. Thank you, Dreamer. Find Luke's. Save the dream. Is this the one? That's her. That's Zoe. You face Yaga and live? This is impossible. Who are you? Another Banda? I thought Ben was the only one left. Might as well go with what everyone calls me here. She seems impressed with me. I should probably use that. Might... Zoe Castillo. Dreamer. Zoe Castillo? Dreamer. She know who she is. Impressive, that, for human. Well, Zoe Castillo, Dreamer, how you survive meeting Yaga without losing your self? 
You strike bargain like witches of old. Sell yourself to Yaga for freedom and power. Do you serve Yaga now? I don't serve anyone. And no bargain. I just... I'd like to learn more about the Yaga. Maybe this one knows something. Who is the Yaga? I only know what elders tell me when I was child. And I only ever encounter Yaga's servants. One of them lived in this forest before. She was Gribbler. Twisted, ancient, evil thing. No one but Yaga know what Yaga truly is. Those who face her never come home. Aside from you. My grandmother tell me Yaga was born before beginning of time. Lux and Yaga, light and dark, dream and nightmare. Balance is in everything, human. When our world takes shape, so did Yaga. One became three. Three sisters. Innocence, age, decay. All aspects of life. More than the first dreamer, Yaga understand life. She understand mortality. Mortality in her blood. Maybe why she hate the living so much. Why she grew mean and hungry. She spread her will across world into witches and warlocks, sorcerers and necromancers, the weak and malleable. But as old magic fade, so do Yaga. Wizard Clax and Gribbler were two of her last servants, and April Ryan defeated them both. After that, they say, Yaga was diminished. Now, Wicker Witch of North is joke to humans of Mercuria. They remember nothing of what she was. They never see their young eaten by night. But Yaga is not the night that threatens world now. Her darkness is different darkness, one that balances light, necessary darkness. She is nightmare that feeds imagination. The other darkness... Well, other darkness is deeper and final. A black fire that spreads and burns until nothing left. Until time itself is ashes. Even Yaga fear this darkness. I believe that's why she let me go. So that I can help. You got the soul stone? You carry soul stone? What soul stone? You can trust Bendu, Masiri, Zoe. She is an elder. She returned from exile to help me find those who survived. I have Lux's soul stone. I need to take it north, to the Ula. Ula? Why Ula? You know them. I heard of Ula in stories. Ancient people inhabit ruins of their own civilization, high in border mountains. You know where to go? I've seen a map. They live on Cloud Peak in the mountains of Yedra. Maps deceive. Go north and then west. A week's journey on foot before you start climb. We don't have a week. Rushing, rushing, rushing into anything is unwise. You carry Soulstone to Ula for what reason? To return it to the first dreamer. Lux is with Ula? So my visions tell me. Your visions? I know this is hard to believe, but I promise I... I believe, I believe. No need to promise. Story too unbelievable for Mole not to believe. Take leap for human. Ride north, swift as wind. You will reach mountains by first light tomorrow. Leapfur can climb at least part of way. You'll be with Ula in less than two days. She said someone would come, but that thing? 
Is it safe? I have no idea how to ride that. Not to worry. Leap for know well enough for both of you. What will you do without a mount? We use feet. Mole's not in rush. We walk slowly so that those of Banda who still live can hear us coming and meet us. We're going east, Zoe. We'll follow the Banda who fled the Azadi. Maybe they still live. Maybe they... We will find them, little one. Take beast. Go north. Do what needs doing. I feel darkness coming. Black fire. Cold as ocean. Perhaps you can stop this, dreamer. Nothing lost. Nothing gained. Goodbye, Zoe. Thank you, Ben. And good luck. I hope you find your people again. <laughs>